You know how we learn the expression kabbir ha takbur, saghir ha tasghur? Make something big, it becomes a big deal. Make something small, it becomes a small thing. Well, you know what? This ayah is about making akhirah big and making dunya small. That's all it's about. We're going to go through life. We're going to have careers. We're going to have educational accomplishments. We're going to have challenges. All of those things are going to be there. But you know what? These are all temporary. These are all temporary. One day will come and there will be a congregation and they're going to make salah and they're going to make an announcement that there's a janazah and it's going to be mine and it's going to be yours. It's going to happen. And people are going to pray over us and then we're going to be gone. And it's, it's sooner rather than later. It's, I mean, quite a bit of our life has already passed us by. So it's not like we're getting further away from that day. We're only getting closer. So the sooner we internalize that what Allah has is better because we're heading towards it anyway. We're just doing ourselves a favor. If we can just learn to utilize our time the right way. And I don't, and like I said, we make 10 year plans and 15 year plans and we don't think about the Akhirah. Then how do you think about the Akhirah? How do you practically plan for the Akhirah? You don't make a 10 year plan. You don't make a 15 year plan for the Akhirah. You make a daily plan. It's not about making long term goals. It's about how did you spend today? What are you going to do afterwards? How are you going to spend tomorrow? When are you going to wake up? What are you going to do with your free time? When are you going to er erase those useless games off your phone? When are you going to stop watching so much TV? When are you going to stop? When are you going to stop wasting time, you know, just chatting away or trolling? When are you going to stop? When are you going to hold yourself to a higher standard if not today? If you don't make your change in, in your day, how you go to sleep, how you, how you wake up, how you go to sleep, what you say and what you do, how, especially how you spend what you think is free time, because it's not free. You're not paying for it now. You and I will be paying for it with Allah. We will be paying for it. There is a price. We may not, be, we not realize we're, we're going to be paying for it, but it's on record. You know how people feel they're relaxed when they're off the clock, when they punch out of the office? Well, we're constantly on the clock with these angels. They don't take a break. And when they do, they put the other alternatives on shift. You know, so that plan has to be made for our day. Our day. So why not make some serious commitments to yourself? This is not for you to share with anyone else. This is just you and yourself. You're your worst critic when it comes to this. And you and I have to decide how we are going to live our lives differently. Because wallahi, the moment we start saying that I'm doing pretty good, I actually don't have nothing. I have nothing to change in my life. I'm, I'm set. That delusion, that must, it must be that so many other people have given you that false sense of delusion. They've blinded you for so long. They've poured so much dust in your eyes. Now you can't even see who you are for yourself.